<gasps> I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. My rod tip just moved. Do you not see that? I'm getting bit. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it was a fish. Oh, there's crappy down there. <gasps> There we go. There we go. Okay, that looks about right to me. Okie dokie. So it has been probably uh, like three hours-ish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say three hours. And uh, we have probably drilled like 200 holes all around this entire lake. And uh, we have seen squat other than the little perch I caught. And we actually also saw a pike on the aqua view um, right close to where we uh, started off. So we're going to set the hut up. As you can see, I've almost got it all the way up and this door is getting in my way. So we're going to set the hut up and uh, hope that uh, the uh, sunset bite is really good. This is also the deepest drop off on the lake. And uh, there's a change of structure at the shore. There's actually a dead weed line and then it transitions to a sand flat where we're going to be fishing. So hopefully we can hook into a couple. See you when we are set up in the hut. Update, we are in the hut and uh, we've got everything set up. I've got the flasher here, aqua view here, and uh, I'm using a rattle bait. Um, and this way I'm trying to like attract fish using the noise of the rattle bait. And then right here I got my dead stick, which is just my uh, pug bug jig and uh, a maggot. Before last year, uh, this around this time, when I went to Manitoba, I wasn't really a ice fisherman. I learned a lot on that trip is what I'm trying to say. And uh, this is one of the things that I learned is it's very important to have a bait, a moving bait to um, bring the fish in, attract the fish, and then a dead stick rod with uh, really any live bait. Just depends on what you're fishing for. Oh, fish. That's definitely a fish right there. Come here, fishy, fishy. Come here, fishy. Oh, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit. My rod tip just moved. Do you not see that? I'm getting bit. Oh. I knew it, I knew it was a fish. Oh, there's crappy down there. Oh, this, my friend, is the crappy prime time. Night bite. Now we know that for this lake. Oh, oh. Oh, I see one. Oh, I think he's got it. He's got it, yes! Yeah, baby! First crappie of the day. I saw him eat it on the aqua view. That is the coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Yes! Let's go! This is what we have been looking for all day long. The species we have been looking for. The night bite turns him on. Got the little pug bug jig and a beautiful looking fish. I don't keep a lot of fish usually, but I love crappie and I decided that uh, today I was going to keep some. I worked literally all day for this. So I am very, very happy. Whoa, what is that? That looks like a little shrimp almost. I got bit, Dad. Got him. Yes. Yes. Number two. Be quiet, Avery. Be quiet. Yes, baby. This feels like a good one. Yes. Number two of the day. So dad was setting up the GoPro for the uh, for the hummingbird just to get a shot of it. And I got this guy to bite. Oh, yeah. Number two. There are so many down there. Uh, hopefully we can hook into a few more before the night is over. Put this guy with the other one. I don't think I've ever been this quiet in my life while fishing. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. It's right there, 
right in front of their nose. Oh, I missed him. Missed him. Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Wants round two. All the way, man. Got him. There we go. I got him pinned this time. I got him pinned. I think I do. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought I lost him. Oh, I see him, I see him. I think he's a nice one. No, no, no. Yes! Number three of the night, baby. It is on fire. Get over here. So this jig, the pug bug, actually glows. So you put it up to the light to charge it, and then it glows in the dark. And man, do these things love it. Let's put him with the others. So I'm gonna charge it up. Like I said, put it up to the light, like so. And it will charge up. Gotta get it quickly, cause there's a bunch of fish. As you can see, it glows. So how I'm catching them is um, I'm seeing them marked on the graph and they are pretty finicky. They don't jump on it as soon as you get it down like any other panfish would, like bluegill or perch. You have to make them want it. So I'm getting it as close to their nose as possible. And then I'm making them chase it. So I'm digging it a little bit, reeling it up a little bit. There's so many fish down there. Got him. Yes. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. That was so insane. So I had actually, I got him to come up high and then, oh my, get over here. And then I dropped it down and he came swooping from like 10 feet of water all the way down to like 17 feet of water, <laughs> which was absolutely crazy. Fish number four, he really wanted that jig. Oh my goodness, look at all the fish on that graph. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit up in the water column because fish seem to be up more. Fish on. Oh my gosh, I did not even feel him. Did not even feel him. I hope he didn't choke it. Cause that will be difficult to get out. He feels pretty good actually. Yes, 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 yes! I think this might be the, it's either the second biggest or the biggest. It's about the same size as the first. Man, he hit that thing actually quite hard, surprisingly compared to the other ones. And man, oh, that felt so good. Got him hooked right in the perfect spot, top of the mouth. Number five, this is insane. So I think I talked a little bit about it earlier. I'm whispering a lot. And that's because if you make any movement at all, or be loud at all, these fish will bolt. We saw it on the aqua view. Dad was moving around to try and fix a camera angle. And uh, as soon as he put his foot down, the fish bolted. I think that is absolutely crazy because we're fishing um, as deep as 20 feet right now. And these fish can hear what we are doing on the ice 20 feet down. Just goes to show that being quiet really does matter in fishing. And I'm not a very quiet person, so <laughs> this is difficult for me. Got him. Oh yeah. Let's go. Number six. Number six. This guy actually feels a bit nicer than the other ones. Uh-oh. Swimming right towards the hole. Oh, never mind. He's still a nice one, but not the biggest one we have caught so far. Number six. In the bucket. Whoop. So um, we're using pretty light gear because even these fish are, they're one of the biggest panfish species. They're still panfish. They're still small fish. So I got light line, probably four, I'm pretty sure four pound fluorocarbon, four pound test and um, very, very light rods. This is a Shimano Sienna combo, medium light rod. So because it's medium light, it has a super, super soft tip, meaning the fish doesn't feel the rod, but 
I can still see the rod moving. Oh, oh, got one. Because it's still medium, still has backbone. What an awesome crappy fishery this is. Number seven so far, and there are still so many more down there. This is absolute insanity. By all means, I am not a crappie expert. I fish pretty much bass and only bass, so if you guys have any tips, please let me know. Oh, he came up, he came up. It's right on me. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Get this out of the way. I'm trying to keep my line tight while I do that though. Oh, this is a nicer one, I think. It's fighting pretty hard. Oh, it is a nicer one. It is a nicer one. Get over here. Yes! This is a big one. Let's go. Number eight of the night. Beautiful looking fish. I love the pattern and the fins on these guys. They are so much fun. <laughs> Let's go. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come here, come here, come here. Mm -hmm. He's here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting bit. Eat it all the way, man. Eat it all the way. I think you've got it. Yes, you do. This one actually feels pretty nice. Oh, he's fighting back. Get out of there, get out of there. Yes! Number nine, baby. We got lots of crappy tonight. Number nine, feels good. The fish are biting. Night bite is the best bite. This is awesome. <laughs> Whoop. Eat it, fish, eat it. Oh, oh, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit. He's got it. Do you see my line moving? Got him. <laughs> he barely bit it. These fish don't like bite really hard, but I could see my line moving. Oh, I almost got him caught at the top of the hole. Oh no, 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 <laughs> darn. I got him caught at the top of the hole and then I lost him. Maggots are the key to success. Like I said in my previous ice fishing video, there's a certain way you hook them so that they don't die as quickly. Just pierce their skin a little bit at the top of the thick end and they'll wiggle perfectly. Gonna charge it real quickly so that it's very glowy. Okay. Very glowy. Oh, got bit. Really want them to eat it. Okay, he's swimming away, he's swimming away. There we go, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Where is he? He's coming up the hole. Yeah, number 10. This is a nice one. Oh my, stop flopping around. We're gonna get keep a couple more maybe and then release the rest. In the bucket he goes. I think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. He's got him. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even feeling a bite anymore. I'm just watching my line to see if, see if it's moving. Uh oh. Yes, number eleven of the day. Ow! ow spiked me with his spine. Another nice crappie. Man, this is an insane fishery. Ooh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Let's unhook him. Got him right in the top of the nose. Perfect spot to hook a fish. Oh, I got bit on this rod. I'm getting bit on this one. Getting bit on the dead stake. Got him. Oh my. Feels good to get one on the dead stake. Oh, it's a nicer one too. Stop moving around. Stop moving around. Fish number 12 on the dead stick rod. Look how he inhaled that jig. Wow, what a fishery this is, man. Let's unhook him. 
so this is number 12. We technically have a limit of 30 each, but we're only gonna keep 12 because um, we wanna let all the rest go, keep this fishery as awesome as it is, let them grow up, have babies, and catch more in the future. Got him. I don't have a very good hook set on him, but I got him. Get over here. Number 13, little guy, and he choked that bait, man. Let's unhook him and get him back. <laughs> there he goes. So my lucky number is uh, 14, that's my hockey number. And um, I just wanna catch one more, then I'll get to my lucky number 14. And then it's time to pack her up and head home and watch the hockey game. Oh, that actually hit really hard, man. Really hard. Lucky number 14, guys, lucky number 14. Get over here, get over here. 14th fish of the night, baby. We have caught 14 crappy in uh, about an hour, which is pretty awesome. We could catch more, uh, but we gotta head home, get the groceries, and watch a hockey game. Let's let this guy go. Go on. There he goes. Well, guys, that is it. Uh, it was a pretty slow start to the day. We got here at around 12 o'clock and uh, we drilled so many holes and uh, we ended up building the hut, putting the hut up pretty much right where we drilled the first couple holes. When we put our hut up, it was pretty slow until about 5.30 and then things really kicked off. The crappy started biting and man, I had such a great time. It goes to show that there is a time of day for every species of fish. The prime time, as Clayton Schick likes to say. And uh, today's prime time was after dark. It is pitch blackout and the crappie started biting. And there are, I'm still seeing some on the graph. Look at all of those fish right there still, lighting up the graph. I definitely will be coming back to this lake in the future to try and catch some more of those crappy. If you ever get the chance, get out onto the ice because I can guarantee you, you will have an awesome time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. And of course, always remember to take a kid fishing. See you later, guys. Maybe I should catch one more. Nope, I need to go watch the hockey game.